The votes are in, and this undecided voter has won over all of our hearts. What steps will your energy policy take to meet our energy needs while at the same time remaining environmentally friendly and minimizing job loss for fossil power plant workers? Excellent question. Little did that man know that his questions would propel Ken Bone to stardom, even sparking interest in everybody <laughs> wanting that red sweater. Ken now joins us from St. Louis. Ken, when did you realize that your question was really resonating and your and your person was really uh, gaining fame? Hi, good morning. Thanks morning. for having me on. Uh, we were not allowed to have any electronic devices with us, and we were sequestered at the debate venue from mm -hmm. about 8 a.m. until the debate was over at 10. Yeah. So we didn't have access to our phones, uh, anything like that. When I turned my phone back on, <laughs> Uh, when I got back to my car at uh, about 10.30 Central, I had thousands of notifications and Twitter friend requests and Facebook friend requests. Uh, I'm just really glad that uh, I have a small platform to encourage people to uh, spark the debate on energy and to you get did. out and vote. Absolutely. Ken, uh, people are trying to buy that sweater. Apparently, they're sold out right now. Uh, the sweater, though, is Plan B. What happened to Plan A, what you're going to wear? Well, if you want to find the sweater, I bought mine at Kohl's in Wausau, Wisconsin. Okay, so just rush there right cash. now. All right. uh, yeah, uh, the, the sweater was Plan B. I had this really nice suit that uh, my grandfather really liked before he passed away. So I thought, I'm going to be on national TV. I'm going to wear Grandpa's favorite Good. suit Aww. of mine. But apparently, since Grandpa passed away, I've gotten a little more fat than I used to be. Mm. And when I got into my car, I tore the pants open. You ripped the uh, seat. And they are destroyed. Oh, wow. man. Yeah, I ripped the seat right out of the pants the and had to switch to the emergency plan B. <laughs> the <laughs> red sweater. Why, this is why everyone loves you. You were using a disposable camera. You admit that on national television. You're so transparent. I think you should run for president. <laughs> Have you decided? I know you're an undecided well, folks, voter. I you were an undecided voter. Have you decided now? Well, you know, I, I can tell you all these stories because I'm not running for office and I don't yeah. have anything to hide. I'm not old enough to run for president. Uh, but I, I think I'm actually more undecided than I used to be. Uh, on the one hand, we have Donald Trump, who uh, probably represents my personal interests a little mm -hmm. more, especially economically, uh, working in the fossil-powered uh, electricity field. Uh, but at the same time, we have a Supreme yeah. Court vacancy. And uh, Donald Trump's nominee, there's a real danger that we would take a step backwards on the equal rights that we've won for all Americans over the last eight years. Yeah. So you're so still it's undecided. almost a personal interest. I, I'm yeah. I'm still undecided. Okay. I want to hear something positive from one of the candidates instead of why I shouldn't vote for the other. All right. All right. Can't wait. I guess you need another debate. Uh, thanks, Ken. We're going to check back with you. And right. good luck with your Thank new you. foundation. Right, Thank you, sir. All right. Well, um. Doing the best I can. Thanks yeah, a lot. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so you can get that sweater at Kohl's. Yeah, and follow him on Twitter.